Okay, this is just a quick video for the V450 DO1 uh, on how to level the swash plate and how to get the radius arms, uh, swash follower arms uh, flat. And eventually we'll get into the blade grips, but for now we're just going to use this, uh, this part of it. First thing you want to do is go on to the radio 2801. Um, get into your V450 model, of course. Go into your curves. Get into the setup. Go into the curves. Your pitch curve. Get into the hold. Um, and basically, you want to go and set it up so that you've got 0, 50, 50, 50, and 100. And what this will allow you to do is to not have to be exactly at that center notch there uh, to be on 50. Um, and anywhere, as long as you're not at the extremes, you'll be at half stick. And it just makes it one less thing you have to worry about. So with that, I'm going to bind up the helicopter and get out of the menu here. Okay, so we're good. Focus in on this. It's just real quick. Bind up. So we're going to throttle hold. I'm just clicking the throttle hold button. And I put the uh, transmitter at half stick and throttle hold. So you can see that. First thing you want to do is get the swash plate level generally um, in the middle of the, this uh, movement there in the, on the main shaft. So you've got uh, no spaces in between the three linkages there. And the way you can tell is you know you have a certain amount of movement and you can just do it by eye. Um, that being the top, this being the bottom of the stick, and this being the center. Another good way is to put the followers on. Let me move this camera back. To actually put the follower, swash follower on, and since the swash followers come with links that are already at a predetermined length, uh, these cannot be extended or adjusted in any way they're just a set length so at that point you can see the swash is level and if it wasn't level if these arms were pointing up or pointing down you know if they were pointing up then I know I'd, the swash plate would have to go down if they were pointing down like so uh, then I know my swash would have to be moved up to get them flat. So let me go through that again. If you connected them and the arms were, say, skewed off a little bit, then you know the swash plate's got to go down. Once you know where the um, swash follower arms are on the V450's head, then you know where the swash plate needs to be on the main shaft. So at this point, you know, I'm going to snap these in. Just another way to check is with a straight edge. Um, you go ahead and just, you know, put it across. And you can see through the center of the screw that those, um, those arms are pretty straight. And that's your half stick. So if you look at the radio... get everything together here you know my half stick and swash plate is leveled uh, we could even rebind just to be sure and it's important that if you're new and just starting out to disconnect the motor uh, rather than use throttle hold at least take all the blades off of the helicopter I'm doing this on top of a dresser drawer right now. If this thing were to start up, uh, it would not be pretty. So please take the time to do 
take the cautions to do uh, set up right. Alright, so that's back to center again. And that's basically it for that part. You know, again, you want to move uh, the swash plate. Let's see if I can get these arms off. You want to make sure the swash plate is level uh, at half stick, especially for the V450. This is about the only thing that is adjustable on this helicopter is making sure that you have um, the half stick, the swash plate is level, and the radius arms are level. So this part has to be right. Let me spin this around. Pop these off. Another thing about these arms, um, they need to be very loose and not notchy. They need to be very uh, movable, not bound up in any way. And it's important that they don't have any play uh, laterally this way, uh, either on either side, and either in here. Basically you want this to move one way and that's up and down. Um, so just make sure that that part is sound as far as everything else. And it doesn't matter if you mount it this way or if you mount it that way, although it will matter on which set of balls it goes. Eventually this only fits one way. So, the swash level leveler tool you can get for about ten bucks. Um, it's just a piece of CNC aluminum cut, and to give you an up close look at that, you know, once you get again, you get the transmitter at fifty percent half stick in either throttle hold or ST1, and you get the this wash plate level at all three corners, all three uh, links. And once you do that, you have a level swash plate. So the only other thing you have to do now is to get these arms level. And it's either going to be level or, you know, dead level or it's not. So if it's not, then you know you got to move. Let me put this on right. And you know you got to make you know some changes to the linkages here, and get it level. So there you go again. And either now when you do move the swash plate, you're going to move all three linkages at the same time. So you wouldn't just move this one. You're going to move. Turn this up one screw, turn this up one screw, turn this up one screw, or turn this, turn them all up or down one uh, full turn and until they meet. Now, once that's done, of course, you're going to go into the 2702 setup, and that will be on the part of the next video. I'll do that the uh, 2702 installing the head and the blade grips. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, bear with me, it's only a second video, so hopefully uh, you guys understood what I was talking about here. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.